Hello, and welcome back to Magistrata Mundanus. I'm Crow, and I play the character of Rich City. This episode is entitled Banking on a Bright Future, and it's where we receive our first taste of the job. The team is really lucky to have someone like Ricky. As we all know, it really helps to be friends with the Benedicts. So, you're in the basement parking structure of Watch Station G-17. Your training officer, training Corporal Zachariah Shank, walks around the vehicle with a clipboard in hand. In the background, other vehicles undergo maintenance rituals among the din and clamor of impact wrenches and tools occasionally being dropped. Between this, you hear the normal swearing accompanying such activity. Training Corporal Zachariah Shank walks around the vehicle, noting the tread in the tire, what fluids are leaking. He measures the puddles of fluid leakage with precision born either from OCD or a mindset toward needless minutia. He writes every last little thing down, as though the Helborg pattern thorax, comma, while, or wheeled, comma, patrol variant were the most precious thing in the world. He is lost in thought. He checks the external toolboxes, which have tools, and notes how many and in what condition they are. He uses a tape measure to see how large discoloration spots are in the wheel wells. He checks the air in the tires, and even how it smells. What is the party doing at this point, while your training officer is seemingly lost in the moment, doing whatever he feels is necessary? Uh, Uriah is just waiting in line. He's used to that. He's just rereading through the through the manual of operation to memorize it. Yeah, my character, he's just uh sitting there just watching this guy and he's just going I, I oh god. So you've you've already just started uh spinning the gun and and this then he just... does that, but then he goes, Everything's fine. Okay. Okay. So just freewheeling the gun around. Then he just Revolver Ocelot. Okay, it works. <laughs> Six yeah. shots. He's just doing that constantly. Okay. By the way, I made sure all of you have truncheons, so you'll yep. you'll find that next to your character sheet. This is your billy club. It is effective. Oh, okay. Greg like now have beat here. stick. <laughs> I am I am tugging on the uniform, deciding where I'm going to get it tailored. I see. I see. I see. And Greg Lack? Greg Lack test weight of stick. It is it is weighty. It is a stick, it is made of heavy wood, and perhaps has a solid steel innards. What is Quinn doing? Um, are we still in the, the very dusty, unused bunker? Yeah, you're in, you're in the uh, basement parking structure of Watch Station G-17. People are just doing maintenance all around you, and your guys so, so just... We got, so we got out of like the little uh, bunk area. Yeah, or... yeah. Yeah, we're, we're in the garage. I don't remember leaving. My guy is having brain problems. <laughs> it's okay. It's been a while since the last game, so yeah, it's you and guys. Also, are you're a psycher. You're supposed to have brain problems. Yeah, you're you're supposed to be like, where? What year is it? Wait, wait. How did I get here? Did I walk here? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just show up places. Yeah, you're just like, hey, watch me bend this spoon, and then demons. <laughs> <laughs> Not a spoon, actually, demon. <laughs> The power of ah, the wall. Fuck it, bit me. Step on it. Yeah. <laughs> you gain one d six corruption points. <laughs> <laughs> that that will happen soon enough. So uh, back at the barracks, he would probably have swapped to like the most mundane gear, taking off anything that's extravagant that makes him kind of shine out of normal. So so you're wearing to do his best to blend in. Yeah, but you're it's a police uniform, so yeah. So oh. he just looks like every other police guy, but holding himself completely wrong and attempting to do slang as if he was a normal person. So, so you're like, you're like, hello, fellow coppers. <laughs> that beat down on the, the 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 roads pullovers, right up this month. Okay, this is not the beat down. It is the percussive interrogation. Oh God. Okay, you know what? You know what, Diggs? Uh, let let's let's look at your character sheet here. Do you, do you have? No, you don't have charm. Go ahead and roll me a fellowship test as you try to <laughs> as you try to convince them in your passing uh, that you are in fact law enforcement. Uh, that's an eighty-three. Uh, no, so no, you you don't you don't do that. Every everyone looks at you like you're insane. Um, as as you walk around, however, you fail so badly that you believe you're doing a really good job. 
<laughs> this is must. This must be how they uh, how they greet people that they uh, can identify with, just with the. Yeah, everyone's just doing the, g- giving you that look. The, to you too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, before long, Shank gestures to you and says, "Get in the back and don't touch anything. We're going on a training ride to <clears throat> see how you real law enforcement guys work, because your experience yes. is absolutely correct, and you're not just a bunch of people masquerading around. I got a bad feeling about you, Lot. You sure as hell don't look like cops, and I'm willing to bet my paycheck. Whatever world you come from has low standards for law enforcement. Much lower I'll standards. Take that bet. <laughs> he, he, he's like <laughs> like 100 200 I'm sure I, I could cover it <laughs> so, so so you're just like <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you making your salary I would bet that <laughs> All right, so he he looks a little mad, but he's like get in the fucking get in the van, I get in the van. Yeah, he's he's not happy. He, I get in the passenger seat. No, he goes, you're riding in the back. You're riding in the back. He's like, up front is for proven law enforcement. <laughs> What's in the back of the car? What's that? Bench <laughs> seats. Yeah, so, um, inside, oh, tell you what, uh, since you asked that, give me a perception check. I've got perception. That's a skill I own. Uh, do I roll? All right, oh, let's... Sorry, it's been a minute. Uh, no, no, that's roll? fine. We're We're relearning it, including me. Where is your feller? I, okay. I, I got two dice here on a thing, and then I got big boy dice. All right. Yeah, you're, you're going to roll your, uh, your two dice, one for tens and one for what have you, but you have a, a point in awareness, so you, you should be able to kind of gauge the how, situation. How do you roll them together? Oh, that's right. You select them both, and then click, yep. and boom. Yeah, what do you get? Um, looks like a six and a four. 64. Oh. Uh, would you like to use a feint to re-roll that? Yeah. All right. You use a fate. Please re-roll. Uh, 81. Jesus. <laughs> there, there you go. Or He's 18. Like, He's 18. like, what, man? <laughs> <laughs> You're blind. Oh, man. <laughs> or or 18. I don't know which one's which. Yeah, which one is black you, or you the... Decide. You decide. You, you decide, so long as they're consistent. However, each bag should say a first-digit dice, which I believe is black. Oh. Oh, okay, okay black, yeah. yeah. So yeah, to, it would totally be 81. Yeah, so okay. yeah, 81. So in inside the vehicle uh, contains a holding cage for malcontents or whatever remains of them uh, when you're done ensuring their compliance. Uh, there's an arms locker with the lock intact and you suspect the key and the key ring that Shank has may unlock it. There are sealed boxes of equipment with intensely specific printed instructions that you, sir, cannot read. And uh, the, 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 I mean, I basically read it. I mean, it says the same thing everywhere else. So it's like, you know, don't don't shoot your friends. That's like number one, I'd say. Number, yeah, number one. Those those <laughs> those labels on there uh, seem to indicate for the rest of you who can read uh, dire warning if these uh, items in these boxes were to be used for unintended uh, purposes, uh, you, you would certainly face punishment. Punishment. And there's a short bench seat, which may possibly, may hold all of you. Possibly. Shank yells from the front. Seat at the set. Yeah. At it, the head of the seat. Okay, Shank yells at you to get buckled in, because we're going. All right, I buckle the fuck in. Yeah, we, let's buckle this shit up. It, it doesn't do it automatically? No, no, no. <laughs> this, God, how, do, how do things work? Well, in, in <laughs> fact, yours is a little frayed. Try to tie it. <laughs> you don't even know how the buckles work because you're so wealthy. You just like <laughs> they usually just uh, show up. <laughs> Somebody does it for you. Oh my god, Garçon, <laughs> Gar- Garçon, <laughs> buckle Why please. Seat belts. We we ha- you guys don't have uh, <laughs> gravity you control know, in you here. Know smooth ride. That's yeah. like the lowest. <laughs> God, this is terrible. So, um, Shank keys the Vox. Uh, there's a crack and a sizzle and some ozone as he adjusts the dials before he speaks. And he goes, uh, G17, Central Dispatch. This is Delta Actual. Show us on the board. Training group going out to get wet. Over. And a few seconds later, the training call comes back in. Delta G17 Central showing you available and on the board. Good luck. Emperor's blessings upon you. Over. Then the Vox goes dead. Except for the background traffic being relayed to other watch stations in the city. Once in warrants checks, updates on activities, emergency services chatter, and the like. 
The Torox rattles to life before setting into idle. Shank puts it into gear, and the vehicle bobs on its raised suspension as he rolls out of the subterranean garage. Outside is indeed wet, at least from what you can see through the front and the small portholes on the side. It is pouring rain, heavy rain, and the sky is black from horizon to horizon. Street lights stab narrow beams into the slick pavement beneath them. It is night in Sector G-17, Bleakwater Bay or the Old Fort, whatever you wish to call it. In the hazy distance, you can see the brilliant lights of city center. This is your new life now. Rolling down the block, the Vox burbles to itself. How do you guys take in your new city? I, I, I wanted to ask a question. Sure. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt that beautiful description. Hmm. Uh. So. Uh. I. I. I want to ask. Uh. Do the portholes appear to be gun barrel ready? Yes. Okay. Cool. And I, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put my gun up out the, out the <laughs> just to test it. I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. I like I could shoot so many people doing this. Like this is gonna be really easy. So you're just putting your service revolver in it, and you're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, usually you have to like punch a hole in it yourself. Like you know, now that you just got a hole in the car, it's pretty easy. Like I can just shoot everybody as I'm just driving by. I mean, you don't even have to get out of the car and serve warrants. I mean, you just shoot them as you're going. <laughs> that's, it's like that's, super that's easy. Not how this works. <laughs> Uh, he wrote the book. He knows how it works. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm very smart. laughs> Listening to the traffic, do I notice any discernible patterns? Am I able to pick up like adjacent units or anything? Yes. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Um, you don't really have any law enforcement lore, so nope. so you're you're not going to know everything. But go ahead and give me a perception check. That's uh, 46. That just fails it. All right. Uh, from from the net traffic, you seem to realize that city center is very fucking busy right now. It, it seems like there's some things going on down there, but uh, everyone on the police side of the radio seems fairly bored because this seems very normal. Okay. What time of day is it? It is, it is about, uh, this is a 27 hour day. So this is a few hours before midnight. Okay. The stars may be out, but you can't see shit. The weather is awful. It's, it's that, it's that rain that just tears into your clothes. Also, you none of you have a note to order a boat cloak. Yeah. Uh, they didn't give you those. <laughs> That's why I make a mental note to order. Okay. Okay. So boat a minute. Cloak. Yeah. So, so a minute later you hear, uh, Dispatch calling Delta. Dispatch calling Delta. G-17 Central calling Delta. Stand by for traffic. And the corporal looks behind and yells at you guys. And he's like, I'm busy with traffic. You idiots take our radio. See if you learn anything. Shit's in the manual if you can read. Okay, I pull out the you manual. Call people out. <laughs> All right. You, 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 pull, you pull out the, you grab the hand scent from your side? Yes. Okay. G-17 Central, G-17 Central, calling Delta. I think this is Delta G-17, over. There's a pause, and you, you hear some arguing on the other end. <laughs> 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 They're like, uh, Delta, standby traffic. Uh, G-17 Central has received report of civil disturbance, possible unlicensed fight activity, barbershop, corner of 12th and St. Cuthbert. Report to scene and call in. Central out, over. You need a license to fight? <laughs> I think I'm Delta to G-17 Central. I copy traffic, over. And they're like... Good luck. <laughs> Over. <right>. Net clear. <laughs> I uh, I yell that intersection up to the front. All right. Um, and fight in progress. All right. Shank drives through the traffic, and he's hammering on his horn, you know, when slow yeah. move vehicles just don't get out of the way. But he's also starting to take curbs, and you notice the vehicle goes over curbs really easily. It's almost like these tires have advantages. And uh, well, it leans a lot in the turn. Yes, it does. Um, <laughs> it's, it seems like it was not designed to be on lifts. So uh, Shank throws the vehicle into higher gear once you give him the address, and he hits the lights, but no siren, and he drives aggressively, and before long, you are there. 
He seems very excited, whether at the possibility of violence or showing you guys how it's done. So you pull onto the corner of 12th and St. Cuthbert. The block is a standard imperial pattern hab block, 10 stories of brutalist architecture tall with businesses taking up the fronts of the first floor. Many businesses are still open, the city seemingly accommodating the 27-hour workday, allowing each shift a chance to lose their money in the variety of services they provide. There is indeed a barber shop, and it seems through rain slick windows backlit by cheap mass-produced harsh lighting, a fist fight is indeed threatening to spill over and ruin civic order. Training Corporal Zachariah Shank turns around and says, Get in there and fix it. I will be taking notes. He threatens you with a grease pen and has already laid over the waterproof coverings to his logbook. <laughs> All right, uh, I step. I'm gonna wait for someone else to make a move. All right, I draw my pistol and my sword, and I advance towards the barber shop. <laughs> yeah, I'm right behind him with the gun. I'm like, I'm already like right behind him with it. So what you're doing, the Hollywood ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that for the camera, but yeah, might as well. Yeah, right, okay. my guy steps out, two hands on his revolver, like looking around, looking around the side to see if anything else is coming out. No, you just, got, you just got you just got wind in your eyes and rain. Rest of the party. Yeah, I'm is stepping out. Anything, is there anything that resembles like an umbrella? No. Is there anything you use to cover my head? Your helmet. Yeah, your helmet. You're your, your helmet. Your helmet is a flat brim helmet. Okay. You can hear the rain <laughs> dinking off of it, which yeah. is really ding, annoying. Ding, ding, ding. When I step yeah. out. I just lean up against the back of the truck. <laughs> so, so you're like. <laughs> 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 All right. I'll hold down the fort. <laughs> no, watch your back. Yeah, I'm watching it. You're going away from me. <laughs> oh my god. That's too good. And Griglack? Griglack follow. Okay. <laughs> Griglack, be ready to uh smack down these people. Griglack smack. Wait, not, not what? yet, not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. As as you enter the establishment, you find two grown men locked in a death struggle over a pair of clippers. One is wearing the dirty smock of a barber. The other looks like a dock worker with an exceptionally poor haircut. On the walls oh, no. are pictures of variously <laughs> appropriate and some questionable hairstyles. The other customers are forming a circle, and from the looks of it, are placing bets on the outcome. <laughs> One of the customers shouts, Get him, Teller! Beat that man up! He fucked up your hair, man! And another <laughs> says, An 20 dot or 20 thrones on Mr. Plurimi. He knows how clippers work. Shave him! <laughs> <laughs> so these two guys are fighting. There's a semicircle of people like... <laughs> All right, deputy, you're in the front, so you go. First, I'm man. in the lead. Are you? Yeah, sure? you were the. I'm. Wrong. I was behind you, buddy. Oh, you and, go first. and Shank is behind you all, taking notes. Yeah. Is the door closed as I approach it? Yes. I boot it as hard as I can. Okay, door flies open. I march in, fire a single round in the ground, <laughs> point with the sword, and yell, "Cease this debauchery!" <laughs> <laughs> My guy hesitates and then fires into the ceiling. <laughs> fires into the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> is this a two-story building? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I fired into the floor. So. I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be like, drop those scissors, and I'm gonna try to shoot the scissors out of his hand. Whoa, oh, no. whoa, whoa, whoa! So, Diggs, you were saying? Sorry. I hit the shooting. I just take a pop shot in the air. <laughs> So wait a second. Included. <laughs> so wait a second. Any wedding? <laughs> Deputy shoots one into the floor and says, "Cease this debauchery." Is it? Might as well. Because so he stamps around in the ceiling. You're in it. A second later, you're outside in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know what, Mike? Roll for it. All right, we're going to roll for it. What do I roll? Uh, oh, ballistic roll. skill. All right, ballistic skill. And that would be... We're going to... I'm. It's gonna, This is a good time for me to test that out. So 43. Um, and then I have a bunch of bonuses. Yeah. Does that get added in? Yes, what they do. The so... Yeah, so... So you don't have the marksman talent. You're not really good at doing cold shots like this. 
Yeah, this is not a good... Good. You're good at shooting an offhand weapon, it seems. Like, you're good at double weapons. Yeah, he's yeah. he's great when he's got two guns and can just run and shoot like crazy. This All would right. be a plus zero because you're at a standard range, it's a standard attack, and you do yep. like, wait, no, you don't get aim bonuses for call shots, so it's a minus 20 baseline unless it's a short range. Yep. Oh, this, this, oh, is, yes. this, oh. is, this is this is this is short range, so I'm doing a plus zero. Okay. So go ahead. It's it's an even roll. Hey, nice. Mazel tov. All right. So you so just <laughs> door can't open. Ceaseless debauchery. Bang. Adept. Ah! Bang. Outside. Pop. And then and then I go drop those scissors. And you and you blow it out of their fucking hands. <laughs> Everyone in sign screams or hits the ground or tries to climb the wall. One guy oh, dives through that. the storefront and Gygax, runs. Gygax, get those guys! And, and runs past Diggs, just running out into the street. <laughs> and you're just hands up, like, whoa. <laughs> Don't be getting your way. <laughs> and the two guys who were fighting both put their hands up. This is absolutely disgraceful. You're both imperial citizens. Uh, Why it, are we fighting? Uh, the guy goes, look at my fucking hair. And it, it looks awful. It, it does look awful? It looks awful. Did you pay for the haircut? He goes, I, 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 I need a new haircut to impress my boss and, and earn a promotion. It, look at this fucking haircut. Have, have you thought about some very nice hats? I believe this is a hat. <laughs> <laughs> The other guy goes, it, 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 it's not, it's, it's not done. It's not done. I was, I was, I was, I was halfway through. It was going to look amazing, but he wanted it done quick so he could get a drink. And I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I never fuck up hair. That's about time I come walking in. Okay. Yeah. Put down the weapon. And they're, they're both like, they're, <laughs> they're both like hands up. Yeah. And they're oh, explaining hold them at sword point. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, that put my gun away. Shank, Shank is writing. Like, I'm sure he's scribbling furiously. He is. <laughs> he is. He is. He is taking notes. As to your outside's your... clear. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the guy's like, "Look, I, th that guy mangled my hair," and the other guy goes, "It, it wasn't done." This seems like a matter that could have been handled in a different fashion also so i'm i apologize for the bullet hole in the ceiling in the floor yeah the barber's I'm like i'm not sorry about shooting those scissors that was pretty fucking sweet i'm not gonna lie i i'm pretty good i did shooting. not apologize for the scissors. Good shot. yeah the, the guy's like you come in here my window's fucking busted this guy tries that to kill me mean. this is illegal fighting unregistered unlawful you're lucky we're not arresting you on the spot guys guys please let him finish the haircut i want to see this <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, I'm not getting my hair cut. I want my money back. And the other guy says, fuck you. And they look like they're about to brawl again. Maybe they just fight it out. Time for this. Greg like charge. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like silently standing there with the trunch and he's like... <laughs> And runs in like, like a super buff riot guy bending his truncheon in anticipation yes. of the riot. He took the pre workout and they got called in. Yeah, he's just with that truncheon. Okay, which one are you going to charge? Uh, which one seems like, in the few seconds I had, which okay. one seems like they're the source of the problem? Uh, the, the guy with the shitty haircut seems the more mad. <laughs> All right. So this is plus 20 attack on charge. Yeah, so you're going to roll under whatever your weapon skill is, plus 20. Uh-huh. So under 62. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can hit twice if I want to, right? Yes. Or no. Well, no. Full action to attack twice. Of yes. Running, the charge action does not let you... Uh, charge right. action doesn't combine with lightning attack or swift attack if you have that. Right, so that's not a full action then. No. Charge is a full action. You just right. don't get bonus hits. You only get one hit. Right. So you're that's just going to run up and club the guy. <laughs> okay, roll for it. <laughs> this is my main pose. Wait, say again? 27. Oh, God. Wait, you already get a plus 20 from charge. So normal. So it's like a you'd be rolling against a uh, 82 on charges from now on. 
Yeah, uh, so uh, you succeed a lot, and uh, <laughs> since this is not supposed to be a lethal combat, I'm just going to say you bash him, like, just right in the head, and he just <laughs> falls over. <laughs> He is out like Tweety Bird. It's it's like that seemed a bit excessive. <laughs> Drags that man outside. He's no longer on the property. The so police matter is finished. <laughs> <laughs> and we like Greg. <laughs> so you just grab him by the foot and pull him out. <laughs> Greg like Greg. <laughs> pull him out into the street, off the off the edge of the cement, so he's not on the property. No, uh, curb stop him. It, no, <laughs> Shane. <laughs> no, just leave him. Shane clicks his stopwatch, oh and he looks at it, and he looks at his note, and he goes, "Well, it's, it's, it's unorthodox, but I mean, it is resolved." So <laughs> I'm gonna tip my hat at him and be like, "See." <laughs> 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 Barbers in the background, like my window, my window my ceiling. <laughs> Don't worry, the emperor will take care of you. He's like cool. The and emperor stuff. Be... protects. <laughs> yeah. yes, emperor protects. It, it, Shank goes, just get back in the fucking vehicle. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> All right, as as you guys get back in the vehicle, you hear Delta Actual, Delta Actual, G seventeen Central, incoming traffic, stand by. Who's Actual Delta? Uh, Mr. Shank. Delta Actual, De Delta Actual, G17 Central, incoming traffic, report at once. Hello! Uh, uh, <laughs> this is uh, Delta 17 reporting over. And, and I, there is... I only think so via Delta. <laughs> no, we're, we're Delta, didn't you... Uh, I still have the receiver on. <laughs> yeah, so you're just sitting there like with it keyed? <laughs> like, are we Delta? <laughs> yes, yes we are. I... I I think so via Delta, but I'm not sure. So, the alpha I'm, as fuck, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm pretty... <laughs> okay, I, I go back to the standard trap <laughs> thing, and it, it says call again because they're probably busy and not paying attention. So I say, this is Delta 17 reporting. There's there's a garble response and then lightning overhead. And Shank goes, this happens every time the, the storms get bad. Go use the call box on the corner. Not a jet. Okay, Where, where's the call box? From What's the a call truck? box? I know what a call box is. A, is. a thing in your off. ear? No, no he, he box you used to call. Yeah, he points. He points at the oh, no, box. I know yeah. what a call box is. My character's saying. What yeah, he goes, he, goes he, he points through the front windshield, and he goes, see that lamppost? There's a little call box in every corner. It's Mark Magistrato Mundanus. Take the receiver out. Talk to Central. Find out what's going on. I this I can do. I actually go ahead. I go ahead of him. I got this. I got. Okay. This. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Are you gonna do do a Groves? How do you, how do you open the box? It it seems to have a latch. A a latch right. that you have to touch open. with your. He's doing this. Yeah, I'm I just yell. Rest Shut facing away from him, watching his back. Open. All right. Shut open. it open. It it. it <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, it's a touch of ew. And yeah, I'll pick it up. Uh, okay. Hello. It's it's a it's a small powder blue box bolted to a lamp post, and uh, they, as, as you look out in the distance, you see regular boxes at intervals on every corner. Uh, and thankfully, as you discovered, it had no lock on it, but it is a little sticky. Uh, hello. And, hello. And, and, and you hear a click. And a little bit of a whine, and it says, Magistrata Mundanus, G17 Central, go ahead. Hi, this is actually Delta, but I'm not sure if I'm Alpha. What's going on with the traffic pattern? There's a pause, and you hear discussion on the other end, and you hear the word retarded used more than once. <laughs> yeah, I know the word. I know the word. Yes, I've heard it a lot. All right. Delta, Vox Disturbance noted over City, Atmospheric Bureau from City Central reports regular communications issues during heavy storms. Unavoidable. Traffic is as follows. Possible disturbance in city sewers threatening to surface beneath Market Square Central District. Investigate immediately. Can't you just flush the sewers? Central out, and you hear it click. <laughs> I can't get it off my hand. It's sticky. Ew. What did they say? <laughs> uh, there's sewer flooding, uh, disturbance, something with communications. 
<laughs> Why are we flushing sewers? We're, we're law enforcement, not plumbers. There seems to be a problem with the sewers. Did, do you remember the location? <laughs> yeah, center of the city. <laughs> So I, I tell them everything I tell them. Oh, okay, so so Shanks like, God damn fucking, and he just shoves it into gear and it takes off, whether you're buckled in or not. So Shanks, why are you upset? He Is goes, this a normal thing? He just shakes his head and he's like, I have trained over 800 officers of the Magistrata Mundanus, and every single one of them was excellent. Why are you my problem? And he just starts driving aggressively. He's doing the white knuckle angry. Like you. I do Maybe you just need to smoke a little dope. A man. So, <laughs> so he's he's rolling hard and he's bobbing through traffic and rain. And you arrive at the market square. It's 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 a large square that may have once been a triage area for the fort in ages what? past, or a muster ground for parades. There's many market stalls, and some are still open. Everything seems to be traded here from precious metals and gems from the other islands, tobacco and bales and various tools, housewares and hardware sits beneath the gaze of shrewd merchants. Other stalls are closed and padlocked. Above everything else, though, as you pull up and the doors open, above everything else, even the rain, you hear loud music. Loud, thumping bass, electronic squeals, and it seems to be coming from a drain culvert. Is it, is it nice music? It is offensive in every meaning of the word. Oh, God, no wonder they're in a the sewer. Shank goes, check it out. I'm staying with a vehicle, but I'll be watching you. All right, I'm going to load another shell into my revolver. <laughs> Five will do me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, al it? <laughs> I'm already locked and loaded. Uh, do I see an entrance to the sewer anywhere nearby? Yeah, you see a manhole nearby. So there's a manhole. <laughs> uh, however, Are is guns drop safe? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because I try to do the spinning thing after watching him for a bit, and it just falls. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes a clatter, but it seems to have put a dent in the concrete, not the gun. Okay. <laughs> So, so I'm guessing that coming from the sewers is like the Macarena dubstep. Yeah, it's it's really bad. All right, I start digging in a toolbox for a crowbar. You find a crowbar. Let's open up that sewer. All right, is All right, I, I have the gun out again, and I'm I'm just pointing it at the manhole as he covers it, which also flags Deputy's character as he starts Naturally. Uh, pulling I'm so engrossed in my task, I do not notice. Okay. <laughs> what's what's everyone else doing? Uh, let me... Can I take a look around and see if I notice anybody out of the ordinary, since I'm usually from city centers? I can kind of... Okay, yeah. Go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. Alright. And I believe you may have a bonus. Uh, yeah, I think I do, actually. Uh, where that might be, I do not know. Let me... I, am I detecting anything on a warp level? Not unless you use sign of science. Well, I'll just pop that off just to make sure I'm okay. Uh, I think that was under... You detect nothing. The city is fairly dull. Hmm. Uh, good for me. Where would the bonuses be on that for that? Because I don't think uh, Let's it see. Do, 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 do. Uh, no. Yeah, you're accustomed to crowds. You can move through crowds. Uh, accustomed to the crowds is just for moving. I know. Through, I know. I'm, I'm reading through yeah. this thing. I'm speaking out loud. Uh, let's see. Nope, you don't have any bonuses until it applies to initiative. All right, cool. Rolling dice. Uh, it's uh, no dice. Seventy-four. You just notice merchants, some closing up shops, some opening for the night shift. Okay. Anybody What's Griglack like doing? Griglack is waiting. Okay. The rain seems to lighten up a little bit, and as it does, you can hear more music, and as you lift that manhole cover, you, you get this cloying smell of narcotic mingling with sweat and sewer smells. The music is louder than ever. It is, it is the worst Macarena dubstep, just wah, blah, 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 blah. It's fucking horrible. Is there light down there? Yeah, you see lights flailing around. It looks the like discount. an illegal gathering. We should read the riot act. I, I was I was gonna throw a flare down if it was uh, dark. Oh, a flare! Okay, that's not, that's what I was thinking. Only a flare, and not anything a else. Road flare. <laughs> oh, not anything else. Fallout. We have not been issued the grenades to clear the structure. Hmm. You, you must, just... must be done hand to hand. <laughs> contact with the enemy. 
<laughs> then we just close it back up. We're like, job's done. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah. So uh, since you're in front, deputy, I, I'm gonna give you. I'm my character's just gonna follow your lead. <laughs> all right, I drop down the manhole. You, uh, you, Victor, you have an authoritative voice. You should read the riot act to them as as soon as we come into contact. Yeah, very sentence a handbook. <laughs> you're it's on page. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> it's, it's raining, page, and just all um, of his stuff is running. You're, it's you're on page five, yeah, uh, page four, yeah, yeah. You 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 find as you jump down there, you see like eighty people in this sewer having a rave. <laughs> yeah, they they're just. I, I hold out the book. In Please front of you for describe you to read. this sewer for me. Uh, the walls, I would say, are about sixteen, uh, sixteen feet wide, and the ceiling's about eight feet tall, and it's a domed ceiling or a curved ceiling. So think kind of old aqueducts you would find okay. under some of the larger cities of Europe, and so stone or concrete. Then yeah, okay. Can I attempt to use a psychic power? Oh! No. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm underground. <laughs> Which psychic power? Does Wallop let me walk on the ceiling or just up sides? You can walk up walls and you can go to many other interesting places that are connected to walls. So I kind of want to, I don't want to climb down the sewer. I want to just kind of walk like this and go whoop. And be upside down above the rafe. You're in the David Bowie from Labyrinth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Goat's looking nervous. I'm a little nervous, but okay. Let's uncork my blade. <laughs> let's let's uncork some psychic powers, shall we? Fuck it, I put my lighter. <laughs> Get the flame. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is for a willpower? It is willpower plus your psi rating. It's like flat, so 50. No, no, so so what it is, sorry, no, to, to actually activate a psychic uh, power, it is, what is your psi rating at current? Two. Okay, so you have 2d10 plus your willpower bonus, and that has to be, you have to beat the rating of whatever uh, psychic power you're trying to invoke. So just roll 2d10 to find out what it's going to be? No, no. Um, roll 2d10 plus your willpower bonus. So the okay. aggregate of those. Okay, rolling. Those are individual. So 7 and 4, so uh, 11. Plus your willpower bonus, which is 5. So you have so 67. 16. No, no. You have 16. Because okay. those are individual. So you have 16. What is the threshold of what you're trying to do? Eight. Oh God, yeah, it works. <laughs> so it had us all worried. <laughs> like none of you get like I'm not do. I'm being very like slighty about it, but I kind of like look into the hole and kind of just hold the chest where there's a small bump that none of you seen yet, and I go. <sighs> I just kind of fall into the hole, but you guys have seen me go in. I just go whoop upside yeah. down. So now I'm like standing <laughs> on the ceiling. All right, let me let me roll some here for the party. <sighs> Oh, whoops. As he's directly above me, I don't see that. I've got the wide brim of the helmet. <laughs> yeah, and now my wide brim is right above your wide brim. <laughs> <laughs> Clank! What? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> One of the people in the party points up, open-mouthed, and then you hear screaming as the music dies, the table that held the music playing equipment is ripped over, and everyone starts running down the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So you have heard the word. We are the polizei, and you must disperse. It's just people like screaming. I'm, I'm just absolutely chuffed that my presence is so terrifying. I elicited that reaction by falling down a manhole. Yeah, I'm gonna let him have it, and I'm gonna just kind of like silently walk to the wall and walk down. And <laughs> <kinda> walk <laughs> yeah, they are all terrified. A few people got trampled, and they're moaning on the ground. Oh, it let's go around. Does not seem like my problem. <laughs> and I go, well, well done. How uh, this uh, yeah. is this is the sewer, right? Like it's still yeah. an active sewer. Yeah. How much water is on the ground? I, I would it say. I would raining. say about two inches and in rising. 
Two inches and rising. So this so problem shall solve itself. <laughs> so wait, you're just gonna let people drown? <laughs> I'm not gonna let them drown. I'm gonna go and arrest them. And, I yeah, I was gonna say I want to with my scrawny, scrawny like middle aged, you know, spacer frame. I I want to. You must. Is there guys to salvage? Um, you find some wrecked audio equipment and some some music playing tapes that seem to be from a band that has terrible taste in cover art. Like chaos terrible no just uh, just not creative ah. it's my science <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, 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 it's it's just terrible tapes all right I drag one of the moaning people to the ladder and tell him i'm not carrying you you get up yourself he's like uh, uh, party the ceiling man i hit him with the flat of the sword <laughs> 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 Obviously, there's drug uh, use here. There are you yet paying attention? Then. You must climb the ladder. Uh, Mike, you were going to say? Oh, I, I was going to arrest one of them and be like really rough, and then I'm just going to search them for dope. <laughs> <laughs> you you find a small vial of a powdery substance. On, on one of the guys I'm, I'm arresting? Yes. Okay, I leave the handcuffs and him on the ground. And then I take the dope. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that guy's good. He's uh, he's he's normally, you know, he those handcuffs are his, and I just like we'll go up the ladder. He's I'm taking those handcuffs, handcuffs back. Okay, <laughs> so so note that you now have two pairs of handcuffs. What is what is Grig like? No, doing I give him back the fucking Mike's oh. character. It's like you I, dropped this. I oh, thank you. Yeah, I, that guy back there, he like totally took them out of my hands. You're you're a good friend. Thank you. As that guy continues to lie <laughs> unconscious in a puddle of water, come on, help me drag him up. Uh, me? Yes, you. Why they got down you? here on their own. So they can get back up the fucking ladder. I, I hey, I'm I'm okay, with Wilhelm okay. over here. All, all right then. So what is Griglack doing? Uh, Griglack finishes smashing the stereo equipment. Okay. Angry noise from Loudbox. Griglack no like. <laughs> So as you're all back up topside with your guy who's like wobbling around, Shank goes, just get rid of him. We got another call. See, I said we should have just left him on the floor. We're, we're still learning the procedures. You're Bring right. Toss him back in sewer. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's you, you a push him into the hole and are like holding the like handcuffs and unlock style. one than the other. Oh my god! So yeah, you yeah. just hear a you hear a thump and a splash and a flop and moaning as you guys put the manhole cover back on. <laughs> as long as he's still making noise, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. All right. So you hear a dispatch calling Delta. Dispatch G seventeen Central calling Delta over. God, do they ever shut up? Shank goes. Did two things today. <laughs> Shank has his <laughs> clip. Two things I do normally every day. This is this is Delta over. Yeah. Yeah. Clamber into the back and answer the box. Possible robbery in progress on four thousand block. Rare coins and Imperial treasures limited. It's a bank. A member of the Merchant Guild reported noise from the back. Respond. Code three. Emergent over. Central clear. Acknowledged. They... Over. Clear out. Delta. Don't they have people to deal with this? That's us. All right, I, I get back in the vehicle and I, I tell, the, I give the address. Uh, we have a robbery. I hate this. So uh, Shank floors it, lights and sirens, everything's blaring. And as it, f and okay, here's, here's where I can show off why we're in Tabletop Simulator. Stand by. Oh, Ple no. Please let this work. While we're in route. I replaced the fired round in my revolver. Okay, make sure all these extra dungeons I got uh, med. What? Oh, you got Found all those the truncheons. <laughs> oh yeah, they keep falling through. Um, all right. Oh no! Like no, no, no! Stole an old stereo. Shit! Hold on. Yeah, you gotta take out the the terrible music. Give box. it, give it a second. It's loading. Okay, thank you. Whoa, whoa. No, just give it a second. It's it's lurching whoa. and lurching. On the third day, God <laughs> raise the first. <laughs> no, please don't fail. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, cool. Whew. Let's see if this works, because if it does, it's awesome. If it doesn't, 
It's going to be bad. All right, Quick here we Debbie, go. Start clicking on things. Wait, don't and wait. Just Lo give it loading. A whoa, whoa. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. Look at that. Yeah. Ah, yes. The crown Victoria. The call of the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as your Torox drives up here, you have to stop because there's cars all over the fucking road. Well, we can't just drive do we over. Really? How about to say, do we really have to stop? <laughs> no, Shank is driving and Shank stops it. And there's cars all over the goddamn road. There's 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 clamor. There's citizens running for cover. Over here at this manhole cover, you see what look like ratlings coming to and fro, and they're oh, armed. No. As well, you notice that one of these civilian vehicles looks like it has a heavy stubborn bolt into the hood. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everyone, uh, put your characters next to the vehicle, please. It's just Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Shank. And uh, let's see. Shank is the Dick Tracy looking motherfucker. No, Shank is the. Uh, no, he's the enforcer oh, there. That's, that's Spocko. Yeah, it is Spock. <laughs> Fuck. All right, so there's 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 four rattlings out there by the manhole cover, and they seem to keep running up the stairs and back. There are people running for their lives and everything. You hear gunfire inside the building. What the fuck was that? That was one not of, me. That was one of the statues. Oh. Oh no. That's, yeah. Okay. Shrink your character down if you don't mind. And. Uh, yeah. I'll no. shrink mine down a little bit too. True imperial imperial you, bread. You realize we're supposed to be taller than the rat. Right? Yes, but this oh, is right. this is all relative scale. So, uh, <laughs> Shank turns to you guys and he goes, "It's the fucking Underhill gang. I hate these guys." <laughs> Roll for initiative. All right, I got a plus two because paranoia. So okay. it's uh, it's you... your it's you're rolling one d ten and uh, plus it's your agility bonus. plus your agility bonus plus any other bonuses if you have them. What's your oh, wow, bonus? I rolled a one. Your agility bonus is Eight. the first digit of your agility, which is a two-digit doodad. Okay. 11. I got 11. I don't think I have anything that modifies it. All right. You Did said agility modify? and something else? Agility uh, bonus. Have, I don't initiative. Think you have anything. Yeah, it's it's 1d10 plus your initiative or agility bonus. So you want a higher number or a lower number? You, you just, it's a, it's plus plus. So you roll 10 and add your agility bonus. Correct. So I got 13. I got 5. I rolled an 8. All right, so once once everyone's got those, uh, let me make note. All right, so... I got 12. Diggs, 8. Dep, No, 12. I got 11 total. It was oh. plus 8 roll plus 3. Okay, so 11. Um, what do you get, Goat? I got six uh, with with all the modifiers. I posted in the text chat. Yeah, I'm. If you I'm, enter, you'll see. I don't have that open. Um, let's Just see. Hit enter and you'll see it. Oh, all right. Oh, cool. I'm gonna call for backup. All right, one second. Uh, let's it's see. Four rats. They, they have. <laughs> a, they have a. Fuck, they have a machine gun. <laughs> we have good. <laughs> we, have, we have Greg Lack. All right. Indeed, we do. Um, I'm missing one for five, five. Okay. Five. Yes. Uh, hey, we have we have bigger weapons in the trunk, don't we? You do. All right. Who wants to get one of the bigger guns? Uh, Shank says. Oh, Shank. Yeah. He he's he's Maybe sitting there. Maybe so long guns. Shank just. I would like a sniper rifle. Shank goes. All right, all right. I'm trusting you guys. I'm trusting you guys. And he busts open the arms locker. There are two very interesting looking shotguns and two very interesting looking rifles. Uh, I'm grabbing one of the rifles. I'm going to hang back. I want a rifle. I have a natural aim. Somebody give me their other gun. I, I'm, I'm good at this. All I know right. what I'm doing. So Diggs call. Oh, shit. That fell through the table. And that fell through okay. the table. All right. Mike, give me a deceive check for me. Oh. All right. So here's here's your rifle there, Diggs. There's the rules are on it. I believe. Yeah, sure. Oh, you can shit. sure hold on to this. Yeah, the rules are on okay. it. Right click. Okay, so <laughs> So wait a second. What did uh who's taking the other rifle? I'm taking one of the rifles and so is Diggs. All right. So rifle. I'm grabbing a shotgun. 
Oh, this reminds me of when we went to the shooting range that one time. Well, it wasn't really a shooting <laughs> range. Right, there's a there's the alley. other rifle. <laughs> you know. It's at the end of the table. Uh, uh, no, that's yes. Grig Light. There we go. All right, and there's two shotguns. Who wants those? I'll take a shotgun. All right. Uh, let's see. Deputy? I don't have heavy weapon training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Here Shoot. do I. <laughs> there, there's, the, there's the shotgun, and there's the shotgun. Oh, good Lord. He oh, gives heavy. He gives each of the men with rifles two magazines, and he gives each of the guys with shotguns a box of twenty shells. <laughs> <laughs> I begin dumping spare shells into the lower pockets of the uniform. They accommodated quite well. Okay, that's um, okay. I don't need to hit anything if I'm just doing suppressive fire. So. All right. So let's see. Initiative. This is where I'm a little rusty. Okay. Um, Shank got very high on initiative, so he is going first. And he is... Uh, where did I put his fucking body? Oh, yeah. He's right there. So he's he's running to this K-rail here. Because I think that's within distance. If we do grid, it'll do units. So, yeah, he can make it. So he's running behind that K-rail there. All right, so next up is Crow. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Uh, where are the Rattlings at? Because I don't see any. They're, they're over here. They oh, don't see you areas. guys. They have not seen you guys somehow. The rain and thunder is covering your approach. That and all the okay. vehicles and people running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to take up uh, cover probably close to where Shank is um, with my two guns. And uh, I'm just going to prepare. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were measuring. I'll put that back. No, no. I'm just measuring. Yeah, you can. You can because you can see your run distance on your sheet. Okay. You have a minus twenty to be hit in uh, range Oops. attacks until the start of your next turn. Okay, so I'm I'm just literally posting up with my two my my two revolvers, and I'm like waiting for <laughs> Max Payne. Yeah, I'm waiting for the shit to pop off. All <laughs> right. You're like Max Payne if he shit himself. Shit <laughs> well, right. considering all the shit he's like all the pills he's taken i'm surprised he doesn't <laughs> <laughs> all right here here so I, i'm i'm just posted up i don't know if that gives me a bonus but i'm just yeah you're you're undercover so <laughs> okay all right uh next is deputy i'm gonna get behind that black car there all right go ahead and uh yeah, I should be able to make that. I've got 18 for... Oh, uh, oh, it's up there! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, jumps. <laughs> Whoops. Boing. Come on. I'm as much nope. less here than what I throw. <laughs> I'll, I'll say you're behind the vehicle. Yeah, that, that'll that be fine. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, All right. It's clipping on something. It will. There we go. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. will. I'll just say you're behind it. All right, there. All right, next is Dings. Um, is this vehicle true to size? Yeah, no. Not oh. exactly, but close enough. Um, so if I use a half action, how far can you run after that? Uh, the, you you can half see half action is just your agility bonus in meters. And then you have another half action. So three six. Damn, I can't really move much with you probably want to run, which is your agility bonus times six. I was going to try to get up on something to so get like an overview. You could climb up this thing, I guess. Yeah, you could like get up on the hood and use the roof as cover, but there's glass, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, like, that's not going to really protect me much. No. Um, I, I will just uh, follow these guys and kind of get behind the barrier. All right. I can't go as far as them, so I'll go closer. It's, it's all that rich food, man. It's catching up to you. Ow. Ow. All right. Uh, next is uh, Goat. All right. I start sprinting uh, until I'm behind, until until I'm over here. Oh, my God. You're really... Okay. Okay. Wait, actually, hang on. Uh, I can just take cover... Uh, hang on. Let me see. Oh, let me... Can I take cover here? Yeah, that'll be Quick fine. Question. Yeah, if I just go to set up on the hood of that on the trunk of that car and start suppressing them. Okay. If I just go to there, can I still get a half action, or is that my full move? 
Uh, just from there to there. Yeah, you should probably have another half action. All right, then I'm going to channel unnatural aim. Oh. It's also a threshold eight, and I just rolled a seven and a five, so I think I'm okay. Yeah, you're good. All right, you got a natural aim. And lastly, Griglac. Uh, how do you get the line to measure? Uh, yeah, just, yeah, there you go. Tab. And how far can you go? Uh, it should be on your character sheet. One moment. Uh, nice. Yeah, on the second the movement, page, so you run. have half full charge and run. and Half full charge and run. So these are centimeters, or what are they? Whatever centimeters. the units are. Uh, but um, yeah. They are squares. Yeah, there's squares under here for the grid. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, shit. You actually have live people. Don't don't look too far in, please. I'm not looking too far. I'm looking at through the front door. Uh, Wait, there's an inside? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There are a bunch of hostages. What about yeah, this don't go, don't go in there. Let's let's wait until he reveals okay. it. So can I get this in there? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Let me let me roll for these little fucks over here. All right. So these guys seem not to notice you. They are lowering loot down on little ropes and they're talking amongst themselves and they're they're all very happy and they're giddy. Uh some of them seem to be armed with uh Really gross and terrible looking small arms that may be cobbled together in the back alleys of the city. Uh, so we're going again because they're they're busy looting. Uh, right. So hold on. Let's see. Shank. Shank runs out here and screams at them. Halt in the name of the Magistratum Mundanus. Well, I think since the cat is out of the bag. <laughs> 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 Hold on, I got to roll for this guy in the back. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, hold on. It, I, mm. <laughs> uh, let's then roll again. Um, no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. No, I, I have it all hidden under the DM stuff because I have okay. all the, I have all the. I keep hearing laughs. I'm like, what's? No, it's, it's because I have all the props back here. So if you could see him, you'd see what I was about to drop out, and I think that kind of okay. would cheat you guys. Okay, let's see. One d ten plus. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, not what I was planning, but we're going to do this. So this rattling turns towards him and goes, Hey, eat lead, Kappa! And he just tears loose with a gun that has an insanely high cyclic rate. But because he's, he's not that big, and it's a very big gun, and he's holding the trigger <laughs> down, he just kind of cartwheels it around. And he, he paints this guy, and he is fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> that rattling has died. He just tears. Kill, he, it. he just tears him apart. However, two bullets like catch one. Shank in the jaw. Oh no! And you see oh. a splatter of blood on the pavement as Shank bites it. Ah uh, yes, the Psyduck wound. That is painful. <laughs> yeah, I good old Iron Jaw Shank. So Shank, Shank is just <laughs> he's he comes back with his steel jaw that he has to manipulate. <laughs> so no, he's back. <laughs> so yeah, Shank, Shank is down for the moment, and that other rattling is confetti. <laughs> <laughs> so just full auto and <laughs> just shoots him to pieces. God awful. Okay. Oh my god. What what is who who would charge four people with a gun besides Greg Lack? <laughs> I I honestly thought Shank could do it with the skills I gave him uh, to show you how it's done. Unfortunately, the dice did not agree with the DM's version <laughs> of events. Caught him, just caught a bullet. <laughs> it happens. It's dark heresy. All right. Um, all right. Whose turn is it now? Uh, next up is Crow. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I can do full move rates and make one attack. Um, I also can. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I can do. Uh, so I have basically no penalty for using dual weapons at all. No penalty. Yeah, so you get to fire twice. I get to fire twice, and I'm gonna go in there. Uh, basically, like fuck you guys. It was my best friend. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see here. One second. It's within uh, third. Yeah. Range for your yeah. That over. is, that is within 35 meters. So that is standard range. So no, I'm, I'm running in first and then. I'm oh, so you're really max painting this. I'm max painting. Yeah. 
You do the dive like Yeah, so you dove over the K rail, you know, <laughs> you're just like Gah! Oh, okay. so, so, time. so you can full so move normal. They just see you go like this. Mm -hmm. I can full move and attack, yes. So I'm gonna get as close as I can to be able to do as much damage and hit them as possible. Where were you before beforehand? I was behind I was right there. Yeah, he's right over here by the Jersey barrier. Okay, so you can move like that much, I think. Yeah. What's your agility bonus? Uh, I have lightning reflexes. Um, lightning reflexes doesn't apply here. You have agility bonus of four, so you can move eight meters and do it. I don't know how Texas factoring in the barrier, but you I can I'll I'll say you can jump in because this is rule of fucking cool, and this is your uh, first you can game. Move eight meters, so you can move either here in the open like a dumbass, or get behind this trunk. Be a dumbass. Oh, I'm gonna be a dumbass. It's coming right over here. All right. <laughs> you you just, just do a one <laughs> shot, but uh. One shot with both right guns. Now. Oh, yeah. with both guns? Okay. That's a plus 20 for both of them. Yeah. Unless there's, like, visibility penalties. Nope. It's 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 The rain has let up a little bit. And the lightning so is still there. I can't hit more than one person, though, right? Yeah, so just decide who is going to get the bang-bang. All right. Um, Which of these guys do we have here? We have... They uh, they all seem to have these little nasty-looking submachine okay, guns. Okay, I'm going to shoot somebody who hasn't fired their gun yet. Uh, the one nearest you has not. Yeah. That All guy. Right, I'm going to roll for that. Okay, here we go. All right, looks like uh, 58. Uh, I'm just going to... Yeah, but 58 out of... Out of Gunslinger. I, I, uh, what do I do? So it's plus 20. Uh, your ballistic skill is 43. 43. So huh. you hit uh, okay. with both. <laughs> Damn. All right, so hold on. Your weapon... <laughs> does uh 1d10 each plus three so go ahead and roll me a d10 and a d10 uh i got 14 oh okay so it hold on oh, sorry no, no, roll no, not 14 it says uh 20 and a two and a five okay so you got a two and a five and each plus three so that is a five and an eight jesus let me look at their soak <laughs> yeah, no. Um you you just ba ba and it's like two fucking holes dead center and he just goes and he's down. <laughs> but you feel slightly bad because you shot a little person. <laughs> People, they're ad humans. Yeah. He, and as he dies, he's like, uh, ee! as he goes down. That's the and sound. I just they pull make. over my shoulder. I'm like, I get all this fucking dope that's on that bite's mine. <laughs> 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 all, all right. All right. Uh, next is gonna be deputy. All right. Uh, You're not gonna sword charge. Firing is a full action, isn't it? Firing is a half action. It's a half action. But you yeah. can also aim and half all these other... So go that. go to this little board, this giant board, actually, I have in the corner. So you can do yes, all-out attacks. It's behind me. Hey, Tex, should Let we be me... taking a minus 10 to hit these rattlings because they're little? I, I'm not applying that just yet. Okay. Probably because of the big-ass fucking guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I and also they have a lot of loot on them, and also I'm being generous because yeah. we're just starting out. They, I I start my games out kind of lax on the rules, and then I harden yeah. them up as it goes on. Okay, what is my range to them from this car hood or trunk? You're well within range. So they're twenty three, twenty four, and you're. Right, I'm going to brace on the hood or on the trunk of this car and let loose with all four barrels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that counts as braced. One moment, I need to look up the scatter rules. <laughs> scatter rules, it's like semi auto. So, for if you're doing it, if it's a semi auto burst, it would be like every degree of success is an it's a It's a quad bore shotgun with four triggers, and I just put a pen in the trigger guard and pulled all four to the rear. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Where did he get a pen? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you managed to you, you managed to to brace yourself and squeeze it. Oh, okay, Jesus Christ, roll. Okay, hold on, I gotta get back over to my table. This and... this is horrible. I thought these guys would actually be able to see you, and they fucked up on that, except for one and twenty two out of forty seven. Okay, so that's two addition. <sighs> It's two additional hits. Yeah. So it's three hits total. On that poor man. On that poor, poor man. <laughs> okay, roll your damage, buddy. 
<laughs> What's damage on this again? Uh, it, if you hover over the bottom of the picture, it'll show. Or if you right click, you can you can see all of its data. One d ten plus four. Uh, but is that for all four barrels? No, that's that each. Per that's per each barrel. Shot. So okay, forty uh, ten. I'll, plus. I'll just roll these two together twice. Okay. <laughs> We got a that, corner. Yeah, I'll, I'll re-roll that. Yeah. But 12. Oh, come on. It says Master Chef disconnected. Wonderful. Uh, that would be why it's weird. Okay, so yeah, I got an, an 8, so that's a 12. Here, I'll roll hit location for you. Yeah, just uh, you right roll knee. while I get back in. Not my knee. <laughs> hit him in the right knee with... I, I mean, this is the DM expression, because I thought it would be a fun gunfight between all these cars, and maybe one of them would get up on the heavy stubber, or you'd sneak around and get on the heavy stubber and grease them, but now it's just turned into this horrible gunfight. <laughs> I can't believe he killed Joe Bananas. <laughs> I, I gave him names while no one was looking. I know, I, was, I watched your hover, I was like, what is he doing? Joe Bananas, <laughs> Big Tuna, Ratty, ugh. I'm dead there. I, I posted all the damage codes and locations in chat. Right knee, left hand, left foot, right. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, I, think just... that, I think that rattling is paste. Yeah. It, uh, they don't let's... tend to have a lot of wounds. No. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Well, let's let Deputy get back in. All right, all right. I'm back in. Start rolling your war crime gun. Uh, that's seven and a one, and then I had to re-roll one. We'll just take the lowest, so five. So a seven, a one, a five, and an eight. Oh my god, hold on, let me... <sighs> Plus four on each of those. There, okay. Those are the damage codes. Yeah, and 11, can... 5, 9, and 12. Yeah, well, I'm using the dice. Uh, there's a hit location dice. Should be on either side of the table, just for... Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Over here. yeah, I'm, I'm here, using... Roll it, I'll track for you. That's one. So that's left foot. <laughs> Center mass. Center mass. Right, right knee. Right. Yeah, right knee. Your breath fucks a rattling it can pop. <laughs> yeah, so you brace it against the against okay, what part of the car are you bracing it against? The the trunk, right? Here. Oh okay. Yeah. And you brace it in and you work your fingers into all those slick triggers and you pull it back and you you have the sensation of like getting hit by a truck. The trunk bows down and is dented. <laughs> the rear window blows in. You skid back three feet and almost drop the gun. However, <laughs> downrange, you see a halfling disappear in a hail of sparks and gore. He is gone. He is just gone. There is no pieces of him you can identify aside from a mess tin that goes rolling along. <laughs> okay. You will need to reload. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Uh, I'm just gonna start. I, I just start uh, suppressing fire on Joe Bananas. Okay. You're just. So you're... This is against uh, ballistic still minus twenty plus ten because of short range. So I'm rolling against a twenty-seven here. Yeah. Okay, first it, I rolled a four, so I hit uh, twice. Fucking roll it, you monster! <laughs> right, D10 plus four penetration three. This is so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If he survives, he has to check will power to avoid suppression. All right, let's see what the rolls are here. I have a. This is so stupid. <laughs> there. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. You start walking the gun up, and you finally figure out how this the safety works. And as you pull the trigger, and it starts to climb, you walk it up the pavement, and you just cut him in half. And he's just... <laughs> 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 the gun clicks empty, but you feel very accomplished. <laughs> nice, good catch. Wait, I can do that. Tw hang on, I can do that twice. It's ten shots per. <laughs> the gun uh, was not per... fully loaded when it was handed to you. 
Oh, fucking. <laughs> That's horrible. All right, well, I, I just crouch down and I just frantically start reloading it. So, so uh, there's a slight halt in combat as everything outside, the shots echo out, the thunder crashes, the rain makes the blood drain. Do you, you want to check on? Because we're going to do a brief break from combat here where you can free move around. There's still a commotion going on inside the bank. But uh, I'm just gonna walks up and braces his I'm just gonna head. reload and set up and <laughs> brace here, uh, watching the front door. I'm reloading. That's that's yeah. my current thing. Okay, as you as you snap that thing open, all four shells go flying out, and they are giant brass shells. It's like a I, game of like blood or something. <laughs> start pulling more out and shove them in, click it close. What is what is Griglag doing? Uh, <laughs> maybe Griglak should check hole. Check who? Hole. Oh, where they were oh dropping the stuff. Yes, I can do that. Let's see. Or you can wait here and just whack whoever comes out the door. <laughs> just stand next to the door with a club. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as someone comes out, bonk. It's it's your call. Where do you want to be? Yeah, you do what you want. Uh, yeah, I'll run. I think I can just run to the Okay. Hole. So as, as you peer in the hole, you see that there's a bunch of piles of loot and some what look like picnic baskets on ropes as they've been lowering <laughs> stuff down there. <laughs> However, anyone who is down there receiving it has skedaddled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what, anyone can move freely right now because we're, we're not within okay. eyesight of the other guys. I want to. I want to check this car. Can anyone stabilize the corporal? Oh yeah, he's down. Uh, I'm going to check this car. <laughs> <laughs> I have some first aid. I will check on. I am not a medic. All right, go ahead and roll your Medicaid skill, please. Um, I have no. You don't. Well, no, no, K N O W. Oh yeah, no. you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah you no. know it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so you're you're just you're just rolling under no your problem, intelligence. Yeah. Just yeah, because we don't have a proper med kit. Uh, Griglack intelligence. What is Griglack intelligence? Thirty. Wow, you rolled a thirty. You did it right on the fucking. I money. am marginally smarter than Griglack. As <laughs> as as you kneel down toward the mean man who spoke poor words about you and doubted your ability as a mighty warrior, you find out he's dead. Oh. Oh, I thought he beat it. No, no, he died when he got shot. <laughs> so I really knew that guy. However, okay. in his oh hand, God. clutched as though trying to keep it away from you, were the rattlings are the keys to the Torox. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's got guns on. Does Gregor understand I... that the keys are to the Torox, though? I don't know. Can I, can I, can I casually walk up and steal the shock wall? Yes. Tribal elves are dead. <laughs> don't need things. <laughs> Carry magic charm in hand. Are you going right, to take it? I walk up to investigate what's going take the on shock with the body. Okay, right. Just write down in your stuff, shock mall. I'll get you an icon for it. I'm just covering the the front door with my big fucking gun. All right. Um. Are right, who's who, is anyone going to try to take the keys? I'll grab the keys. Okay. As as you as you it, note down that you have the keys, uh, note that uh, on your on your paper you've got the keys to the Torox, but also note that uh, he seems That's to have fallen on his file folder that he was keeping on you guys. Oh, I bet I got a good grade. Yoink! Then <laughs> okay, so 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 you're gonna take it. Of we course. will collect all equipment. It is very valuable. All right, so I just immediately yeah, start going through it. It, it, from the other observations he notes, citing your unorthodox police methods and doubt as to your intelligence, uh, he recommends immediate deportation. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And I go, you know what? No one's ever going to see these. And I just kind of just like put it in a puddle of water. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> let's assume you haul his body back to the vehicle because yes, you still have... I drag have... his body back to the vehicle. His equipment is very important to the Imperium. It, that it is. However, you hear a call from inside the bank, and it's a little high-pitched voice, and he's like, Hey! You guys quit screwing around out there! We need help! Oh, we should help them. <laughs> yeah? Uh, I want to check the car. In the back of the car, you find a toolbox and a lunchbox. 
Is the keys to this car still there? Yes. All right. Oh no. What? Why? Don't tell me you're gonna you're planning on driving that thing into the bank. I would never. G I'm gonna drive that into the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have drive ground vehicle or any similar? Nope. I don't oh, think so. How interesting. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry, guys. I'll get in there. I'll take care of it. I start the car up. <laughs> Oh my god, let me double check. If I can start a car. Um, <laughs> Let's find out if I can... Drive. Just go ahead and roll. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna roll that see, see what happens. Ooh, Agility we got a base. 25. <sighs> That's a pass if it's a, if it's no modifier. I'm, I'm giving him no modifier for now. The vehicle starts. Okay. <laughs> And I'm like, hey guys, I'm gonna take care of the hostage thing. You go ahead and call on the boys. I got this one. And Wait, gonna, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna take care of the. I'm gonna take care of the hostage thing. I'm gonna go in there with the car. I'm gonna take care of all the bad guys. Don't worry about I'm it. Gonna, I'll be. Just gonna shoot you when you crash. <laughs> I can't crash, man. This is a sweet car. All right, here we go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> all right, so you're you are actually going to try to drive this car. Well, okay, first, before I do that, before I make this decision, does the gun, is it, like, tr controlled by the steering wheel, like we're playing nope. Armageddon? Oh, no, it is just okay. bolted to the hood. Very poorly. Okay, There's... well, this is my this is my plan of action. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to drive in to the bank. I'm going to crash into it. They're going to be like, what the fuck is that? I'm going to, at some point, probably, I'm because I'm going to keep my head down the whole time, I'm going to dive out of the fucking car side door and I'm going to start shooting any little person I see. <laughs> a child, no. <laughs> You're like, they could be halflings. They could they be could halfling be. children. But oh. I'm I'm basically I'm drawing fire for you guys. All right. The the car but is This is the most fun my guy has ever had, so he's he's fucking stoked to do this. I I just measured the car. It will fit. <laughs> Uh, all right, you know First what? Roll. Lock the car. And then... All right, you're gonna you're gonna roll. Uh, it's it's under half agility because you don't have the skill for driving. Under half agility. Yeah. So roll. Under minus, yeah. Under minus twenty. I okay. We'll do minus twenty. We used to do under half just to show how bumbling it's, it's it is. The same shit actually for Ricky. Yeah. Go ahead, Dings. If I look in the hole, I know that they scattered. Is there still a good amount of wealth just sitting at the bottom of this well? There seem yes. to be lots of bags down there. So here comes Wall Walk again, as I just kind of go. <laughs> <into> <laughs> That's good. Hey, I'll go check this. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. We'll all get right, to so, that. Okay. Um. So uh, I might have to reroll. Do I get to do that? Uh, yeah, fate you can point. use a fate. Uh, Where do I see those at? Where are the fate points at? Uh, your There's fate points here. are... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and do, when do they get replenished? At the end of the, the session, session, unless you burn one to automatically succeed. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm succeeding on this. So wait, you're just going to burn one to succeed? That's permanent, dude. That oh, is permanent. permanent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. you can spend for a reroll. That's, yeah, that's for a glorious last stand. Sort okay, of stuff. I'm re-rolling. <laughs> re-rolling. Yeah, all right. Oh, I didn't even do any better. Okay, yeah. so you put Five the vehicle three. into reverse, and it gets stuck on the steps. And you gun the engine till it dies. All the while yelling at your compatriots. Guys, I got this. <laughs> this thing's a piece of shit, but I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> it's high-centered. It's not going anywhere. Then I, I get out, I'm like, fucking piece of shit! Stupid! I kick it. Okay, you Explodes. kick it, you put a dent in the door, it's still not going anywhere. Okay, I got um, my two guns. Diggs, there are more bags than you can carry right now. It might be a good idea to enlist the help of your teammates once the objective is complete. <laughs> yeah, but my Well, he doesn't want them to disappear <laughs> while we're not looking. My pockets can carry plenty. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just make sure that there's nothing else besides money or whatever. So and far, just... so far, it's you start opening bags really quick, and you find it's lots of imperial notes and bearer bonds. And uh, let me roll for that. In in your pockets, you're just trying to line your pockets with as much as possible. Yeah, like you know, add some extra armor. Oh, of course, money. of course. Yeah, um, nothing more protected than the you know, imperial bowl. Coffee. Bill. All right, uh, let me roll for that. Uh, 
600 thrones. All right, and I'll walk my happy ass back up. <laughs> okay, so so you, you find enough loose money, but it's obvious when they threw it in there, they were being loose and crazy and just dumping shit in there as quick as possible. It's like a trash bag sort of deal. It's, it's, they are not being organized. This is horrible. This is great, and you know it. <laughs> just oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I a halt in the matter. <laughs> Greg, Greg like didn't get to kill Nova. Greg yeah. like is gonna kill plenty of people because we're gonna go in inside a building and you're probably gonna start whacking people, just one stones bonking people over the head. <laughs> I still can't believe that first earlier bit where you just crack that guy in the skull and you did throw the guy back in the manhole. Tribal leader is dead. <laughs> this is great. All right. I'm, I'm covering you. Go, Greg Lack. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, um, you guys can enter the front of the bank. I'm hanging back. <laughs> oh, and well, you can send Greg Lack and deputy in if you want, if you guys want to. Yeah, here, I'll somebody. set up over here. I'll just set up. Oh, fuck <laughs> uh, I'll just set up over here by uh, by the column here. So are we just moving, or do yeah. you have to do like measure? Or? No, no measuring right now. Like I said, we're taking a break from initiative because they can't see you. Greg Lack, walk in. All right, so just put all your guys in there, and I'll wait till Mike gets back with his coffee. There, I'm leaning against. I'm doing the thing where you brace against a wall. Oh, just because you've seen that in some some uh, yes some. Well, film. no, my guy used to be a used to be a security officer. Who yeah, got conscripted into the administratum. Oh, sorry, I moved the wrong person. It's all right. Sorry, he I'm has a ballistic right. skill of like 42. Well, okay, yeah, shoot, uh, 37. He's just rusty as hell. All right, Mike's but getting coffee. Back. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys have had a really interesting first day on the job. <laughs> like, stop in the name of... Yeah, and then he just, like, fucking gores the other guy. Just Yeah, all of them get, like, they all get cut in half. Just like, stop in the name of... Stop in the name of the Magistrat! <laughs> so this, this is the teller in front of me? Yes, yes. I set the shotgun heavily, like the barrel just... Well, wait wait for counter. Mike to get back. He's not back yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. But I, I get where you're going. This game is so retarded, but I'm getting that magic sense back of this is how tabletop should be. I'm going to give I'm gonna give the rattlings more retarded mob, mobster names. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just still thinking of... Because I was like, I was going to have Shank run up and like uh, tear gas one of them. And and Don't then like about them beans. Yeah, I was I was gonna I was gonna get Shank to actually do something cool. That Wait, didn't work. Gas grenades? Did anyone take them? Nope. Fuck sake, guys. It's okay. You did. Some, well, things we are probably all... don't want to tear gas civilians here. Wow. <laughs> that is the nicest things that I have done to anybody all day. Yeah. This is this has gotten really stupid, but uh, this is really fun. So as you guys enter the bank, uh, you notice that all of the uh, people are either on the ground. Some of them have uh, terrible wounds to their knees and lower extremities <laughs> because they're halflings. You know, they have to club them yeah, down to their level. The yeah. So so some of them are nursing. They're, they're just holding their shins and like, ah, ah, the people behind the glass, which they thought was bulletproof, but by the holes in it, uh, has turned to be not, um, are just still like, ah, ah, ah. they're all terrified. Some of the people, some of the people on the ground start to crawl toward the door because they realize the police are here. Deputy, you said Wait, you're you all fucking Sidorovich from Stalker. I... <laughs> walk right up to the teller and I set the shotgun barrels real heavily with a thunk on the desk. I hit the bell very gingerly. <laughs> he goes, Yes. Fiasa police? Yeah. Fiasa. He 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 gestures to the to the door and he goes, They're in the back, they blew the vault open. They're stealing. They're stealing the little bastards. Ah yes. They uh, said they were a bread wait. company. Wait, wait, were uh, you were, were you helping them? Because they seem to not be up here, but they were getting stuff outside. Yeah, they just keep running it back, and any anyone who says anything, they just give them one, two in the shins. They have these little bats. Oh, not shins, not shins. One of them has a rolling pin. <laughs> That's illegal. 
<laughs> they said they were a bread company, but I thought that was weird because we never get bread deliveries. And then it was guns and bats and that one rolling pin. I'm covering the door. All right. How so, many? Uh, I, I, I don't know, like three, five, something like that. Not their height. How many? Oh, <laughs> please vacate the premises. This is under police control. Now. All right. All of them take off when you say that. There is a door over here that the tellers leave through the front. And there's a door over here to the back. I would recommend you guys stack up. I'm, I'm covering the door. All right. Also, was this magazine that I inserted fully loaded? Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm, my guns are being reloaded, just the two bullets that I shot from me. I have four boars for more whores. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I would recommend you guys stack up over here, because that's the door to the back. To oh, the that's vault. the door to the vault, okay. Yeah. Because one, one's yeah, the door don't we to have the. Have to go through the teller to get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not, they're not yeah. Us any to yeah, there. they just they they took off as soon as you said get out of here. They they just like ah, just all run away. No, you can't be up there. Well, unless you all walk, <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> walk. I'm not a filthy mutant. Whoa. All right. Uh, wow. Yeah. You're just jealous. I have to talk to the emperor. Are Are you go going over there, Mike? Oh yeah, I'm going over there. I'm sorry. All right, let Thank me you. move your guy. I did. I didn't want to like run my shit over everything. So yeah. all right, so the door to the back appears to be blasted open, and you hear guys inside laughing. They're like, "Yeah, <laughs> all this money!" <laughs> but you overhear one of them say, "Who had? Who has heightened hearing?" I do. Uh, Go yep. ahead and roll me a perception check. Greg Glack, listen. You put your ear to the ground, and you hear the iron horse. I'm Greg Glack. You're rolling under a 35 uh, or 45, depending on what the mod is. I'll say under a 45 for this. Okay. Greg Lack through. Oh, uh, Greg Lack not here. Okay. You just hear other voices coming from deeper in the vault. And you hear, you hear rustling of bags and laughing. They seem to have not heard anything back here. Then again, there's many layers of heavy steel between them and what you did outside. <laughs> 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 what we did outside clearly just sounded like thunder and screaming and lightning yeah very very frightening all right same yeah. initiative it we are in initiative again uh so we are gonna go uh <laughs> crow you're up Okay. I I I think that uh Man, Here, let, let me I... delete that door. There we go. Okay, I was going to say that. Um, no, I'm going to go up to right about here where I can see them. And if I if I can see them, I'm going to shoot both of them. You're going to shoot both of them? Yeah. You're within three meters of each other. All right. Let's see if I can do it. You're within range. Like go. What's that? You're within it's range. range. Yeah, it's, it's short range, so I mean, you're... This is doable. Ooh, uh, two and two. That's 22 on the check. So that's that is... four. Yeah, so no, that's 22 on the check. So you did it. Uh, that is that is hits. So roll me damage. Does he have okay. to roll again? We'll, we'll get to that. I want to see how he splats the first one. Just roll okay, one roll gun damage. damage. Yeah. Yep, one for gun damage. Okay, so I rolled a three. Roll hit location. And then a hit location looks like a hand, the left hand or right hand. I think it's the right hand. Okay. Right hand. So so he's holding his gun. I just shoot. It. You right. You try to shoot the gun out of his hand, but you just blow his hand off. Just as that <laughs> as that wad cutter hits the hand, it just pulps, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love this. We're playing a grindhouse. Our, oh, I, I very much have a grindhouse approach to gunplay. All right. Oh, uh, so good. Next, okay, um, or roll, roll for that second boy. Okay. Um, and just damn one dice. Yeah, one dice for hit. Or sorry, uh, standard two dice for hit. Oh. Yeah. All right. So again, that was uh, nine. Oh, is that nine or two? It's cornered. Ninety-two. You had no dice. You, your your second shot ricochets off the wall. Okay. And unfortunately for you, he goes next. So this this little fucker is incapacitated. He is just screaming and holding a nub. He, ah! He's like, <laughs> he's just spraying, you know. 
Um, let me roll. I'm like, hold up, this is the police. Where's the police? (laughs) Just shoot the guy and hold up, this is the police. Okay, he comes on the ground. (laughs) He he turns and fires on full auto. However, the gun jams three rounds in, and he just puts three slugs in the wall. Oh shit! Yeah, and then it's like click. Next up is Deputy. Uh, so Crow's turn. Okay, so he's currently standing just around the corner. Yes. Okay, I, uh, stand behind him and brace the shotgun on his shoulder. (laughs) (laughs) And pull the triggers. All of them? All of them. (laughs) (laughs) What's the standard range on that shotgun gun? I don't think that uh, dispersion counts. I think it's all still a solid mass at this range. Yeah, I, I'm I'm going with with my gut feel and not worry about dispersion or range. Let's just say it's close range. Roll roll under uh, plus twenty. Oh my feels. Roll under sixty seven. Yep. Do it. Uh, 56. That's, uh, two hits. Two hits of the four. All right, roll for damage. Oh, my God. Roll hit location. Oh. Uh, left arm. Okay, and? Uh, right leg. Okay, roll for damage as you're shooting these horrible little people. Because this guy got splattered with blood from his friend. And, uh... One plus four. So five and five and eight. Jesus. Okay, you just blast him open. He's 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 just I mean he's gone. This guy's still rolling around screaming. Though screaming. Drop the shotgun, draw the sword and the <laughs> revolver. Oh my well, god. Uh, you don't have enough actions to do that. Nope, yeah. but that's my next action. No reload. Just then and then. Ah, Alright. Yeah. Alright. And I'll worry about crows hearing later. Yeah. I I almost What? Made it. Yeah. No, mop. Alright, Diggs, you're up. Oh, am I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't think I'd actually get a turd, so I was gonna be like, alright, get him, boys. <laughs> you um, could uh, you could subdue this guy over here. I don't know. I'm just going to brace up against his back wall with the gun butt to the back of the wall. Okay. And just suppress the fire into the hole. <laughs> so just... <laughs> yes. Like, uh, let me just... <laughs> so, wait. Do you have the uh, assault rifle? Yeah. Oh. Okay. That is within its range, so roll. Minus 20. Uh, or... No, this is within short range, so roll against a minus 10. Yeah, this is nuts. Uh, I'll use a fate point to try to re-roll that. That was way too high. And it's just one point higher, so now I got an 85. <laughs> All right, so you managed to just fire half the magazine, just, really. <laughs> just bouncing rounds around the hole, but not through it. And just, <laughs> just, just, just fucking tracers flying everywhere. <laughs> And yeah, I'm like, I look over, I'm just holding it like this. Yeah, you're just holding it off to the side, like... And you still have to roll against suppression. I know, I know. Oh, you're doing your job, Diggs. Good, good work. Yeah, you've you've done your work. Oh, motherfucker. All right, they both go... And start running. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they run, and, and, and they're... <laughs> Is loud. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like <laughs> running. Ar- they start running around. And shit's sparking and like money's exploding, and and they're crawling around on the ground. They're like, Ah, God, protect the money. <laughs> oh, that's what I do. Yeah. Whose turn is it now? No, it is Goat's turn. Uriah is going to have to move over We're here. And that's my turn. All right. Cool. So now it is Griglack, son of Griglack. I think I will just run right up here. Okay, hold so down T. It'll, it'll keep you down on the floor as you move around. Okay, cool. Um, all right, next in, it is Crow. Oh, all right. So um, everybody else is in the vault but me, apparently, right? No, no, you're in the back. You're you're 
you're uh where is there he's right here with me okay yeah i'm he, behind you guys he braced a shotgun on your shoulder and fired it so you're you're a little uh <laughs> yeah four barrels worth of blast too <laughs> i'm like what the fuck no you've seen uh, worse uh, in your street gang fights Oh, yeah, no, I, my character is not really that phased by it. He probably just goes, fucking nice. All right, um, I can't, do, what's the ruler option? What the fuck is that? Tab. Oh, oh. Uh, tab. oh, is it tab? Okay. Oh. So you can, like, run up to over here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to run, I'm going to run up over there. And I'm going to take cover behind this wall right here. You know, the John McClane. Yeah. High ready. Yeah, but I Hollywood ready. Guns. All right, yeah, so you're Hollywood just... ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, my guy it's doesn't really speaking... know proper firearms. He just he's doing what he he's he knows what how to shoot. He just doesn't have like tr the training properly. Is speaking part of the turn, or is that something that's free? As long as it's short, like right, like I'm epic to... speeches are a no, unless it's yeah. really cool. I'm but... going to run up beside Griglack and yell, "This is the police." If you come out, we guarantee you'll be executed mercilessly. <laughs> <laughs> One of them inside's like, no deal. This is our money. <laughs> the rest of the boys will be here from the bakery shortly. I, I just shall. yell. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just yell like, you guys got any fucking dope in there? That's illegal. I have to confiscate all the fucking dope. Uh, uh, all right. Um... <laughs> Oh my God, Digs, go! Yeah, my, my character's turn? not gonna. Yeah, yeah I'm, I just moved. I'm not. I'm not doing. That. Yeah, we we all moved up. Uh, do I have a sight line of sight on any of them? Yeah, you can see them. They're cowering on the floor, but they look like they're starting to gain their resolve. All right, uh, I'll just drop the gut. The sh is dropping a weapon a free action? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Is drawing a gun a half action? Yes. Yep. Unless you have quick draw, then it's. Automatic. I have call gun. Now, is that a? Let me see if that's. You did, did you spend time preparing over the firearm? Ah, oh, fuck! I keep deleting my shit by accidentally typing. Oh, oh. That firearm, can happen. <sighs> I don't even know it was there now. Yeah. Shit. It is half action anyway to cast that. Uh -huh. oh, True. I know. I don't think I. Uh... If you have the original of your character sheet, you can just copy that after the game. I don't. I would just run oh. over and whack this guy over here. So he's still alive? Yeah. He's, he's just writhing on the ground with his stump like Alex Murphy and Robocop. Oh, I'll take out that shock model I just picked up and go hit him with it. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, weapon like, skill plus 20, bud. Okay. Let's see how I roll today. If you do not yell stop resisting when you hit him. For, what was it? Plus twenty? Yeah, it's a weapon skill. Then that because I rolled a. Ro just roll me a d10 to figure out how badly you electrocute him to death. <laughs> Seven. He is super electrocuted to death. Security. Yeah, you're just like, like. Stop yelling! It's already loud, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. <laughs> just fucking dies like a roach. <laughs> Get the thing. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> You're like, this is awesome. And then you touch someone. Like, I want to kind of do the like nine volt test, right? Don't do that. Should do, should do that. No, you, you, it would be like, roll another D10. <laughs> Damn it. There's lightning arcs out of your brain. Um, all, all right. right. It is now, let's see. Let me double check. Now it is uh, Goat. Since they let off on the suppressive fire, well, yeah, uh, I'm going to suppress. I'm going to suppressing fire at them and with all your friends in that cone. Um, yeah, they are in that cone. Um, I'm just asking. I'm just going to Overwatch, and if any of them start to move up, uh, I'm going to just blast them. All right, you're you're on Overwatch. They're they're kind of yeah. pinned down, but they're looking like they're getting their resolve they're back. No longer being suppressed. So. Yeah. All right, uh, Griglack, you're up. Griglack, think. Um, <laughs> it painful. Griglack. <laughs> Griglack hurt. Smoke come out of you. Um, it looks like they have this covered. So they mentioned other folks coming. They they said they they threatened that. Whether that's true or not, 
You don't right. know. I think those are the guys we already whacked. <laughs> I'll Greg Black come back this way and wait with stick. Okay. So you're gonna wait with stick. Okay. Um they both get up and move over to the other sides. Reaction fire. Yep. Um spending a fate to reroll. <laughs> I hit them uh let's see, what is it? So it's uh close range rate. Yep. Okay, so I hit them two times. Good God. All right, roll for it. All right. Roll for that damage. I I'm going to say it's one each. Yep, that's fine. So I hit one in the left arm for nine damage, the other one in the right hand for eight damage. Wow. Okay, you managed to just shred their arms. <laughs> and they're both just going Aah! as they flail around <laughs> terribly. Uh, end of combat, boys. However, you hear a loud boom and a thump from the front of the bank. Well, that's bad. Yeah, I'm. I'm like uh, guns are like I. I don't know what that is. The guns at the ready. <laughs> Someone give me another pair of handcuffs. I'll stay with these two. Uh, I give him my pair of handcuffs. You might okay. just want to handcuff them on their legs because I don't think they have no. arms anymore. I, I'm on their tails together. Above the elbow and tightening down to a wrist. Oh, God. <laughs> on whichever arm they don't have. Oh, God. So are we measuring again? Or nope. It, not, not an initiative. But you did hear a loud boom and a thump from the front of the bank. That handcuff is acting as a tourniquet. Do not. All right, I'm going to go with uh, Grigalak to go check it out. So how far do we get? Uh, you, you can get to the front of the bank where you come face to face with Lieutenant Kelso. And behind him are a bunch of stormtrooper-looking motherfuckers with sawed-off shotguns, flamethrowers, and assault rifles. Oh, um, uh, hello? He goes... We, we cleared out the bank. He goes, uh, yeah, um, y'all didn't radio in when you got that call, so <laughs> I called Charlie Squad, and they've been doing weightlifting and battle powder and whatnot. And I brought him here to see if y'all were in trouble, and he gestures... No, situation's under control, but the corporal was dead. He gestures over to the corporal, and he goes, Seems like Shank bit off more than he could chew. Yeah, I just <laughs> I just leaned his bloody body against the driver's door of the Torox. Yeah, he, he just, uh, he goes, so what the fuck happened here? Oh, by the way, Diggs, uh, they, there was the loud bang at the front of the van. Uh, Kelso showed up with Charlie Squad, which are all heavy hitters. Um, basically, the I, I believe, uh, I believe the corporal called them the Underhill Gang. Uh, came in to rob this place. We stopped them. There were um, what? They how many? Were, there, there had been four outside. Yeah, and four more inside. Uh, Although we, there's only evidence of three now. Yes, uh, <laughs> one of them was quite destroyed. These weapons are quite efficacious. I shall submit a full report in writing and triplicate upon return to headquarters. He he just but kinda, the situation is under control. He just uh, some of the loot is inside of that uh, beneath that manhole. I see. Well, with Shank dead, the captain said that when y'all were done with training, I figure that you're going to be taking over Delta Shift, but, well, I don't think Shank can sign anything right now. So, uh, I, promotions. I okay with him. <laughs> he said that we were well qualified, and he's never been more proud of a group. Yeah, I don't think he said that at all. Um, but can check on that. <laughs> you can try. I'm gonna try to deception him. Right. As being as I get a plus ten because it is authority. Okay. Uh, fellowship and deceive. So I need to roll a fifty-one. Ricky, can guys, I? Have my I gotta map? disappear for one minute. Sure. And I, I'm like, oh yeah, one of those like rattling guys. They like total, they like totally took your gun, and I'm I'm like, no, give me my gun back. No, this other one was actually give issued me my to me gun by back. The, oh, okay, I hand him the gun back. All like, right, basically. <laughs> okay, so digs you passed. I rolled a five. Oh, so yes, I I, so, I beat it by four degrees of success. So let me <laughs> retract that statement. He goes, okay. I mean, that's pretty weird, but 
I mean, anybody, he seemed a bit weird. He had, yeah. a, he had like a spark, like he knew he was done. Yeah, he didn't clear out that bank all by ourselves. Uh, the corporal died right as the bullets started to fly. Oh, yeah, there's not so a hit amongst a, the rest of us. Well, right, right through. Yeah, he didn't. He ain't gonna be folding any more pants. You know what I mean? It's hard to do that without a jaw. Also being dead. Yes, quite. Well, uh. Who any anyone got the keys? Cause I suppose I'll just have uh a Charlie boys clean this place up and secure this evidence. Uh y'all are gonna have to do some paperwork. I'm quite Even good at in that. death he served the emperor. Uh who took the keys again? Ricky. Ricky. What, but I'm I not saying anything. You took yeah, the keys you, for what? The the bank? No. Oh, no, you uh, mean the actual rock. Yeah. Yeah, the truck. Oh. No, that would be somebody else. I didn't take those guys. I took the key for that white car, I think, but I left it in the car. Deputy. I think Deputy took them. All Does right. Deputy even know, do any of us know how to drive? That's a really great question. I'd say no, but you never know. Deputy knows how to drive. Yeah, operate surface. Yeah. No, Griglack can probably drive better than all of us. Griglack navigate by he, the he flying does fly bird. A real bird. Yeah. <laughs> He Rick just Lack sticks his feet through to the drive. bottom of the floor, and he just starts pushing the car with pure yeah, just, strength. Just uh, Flintstone style. <laughs> and then we can round this out. I closed Tabletop Simulator so we can use the previous save so Dig stuff doesn't go away. Plus his 600 loose thrones that he managed to pocket uh, before the police grabbed evidence. So very smart of you. Well, let's, let's be real here. Charlie totally is pocketing some of that loot, too. Sure they are, but you don't know that. Nope. So, as the 15 I person... I would totally not believe they would do that. Yeah. That so, is illegal. Yeah, so the <laughs> the 15 personnel of Charlie Squad go into the bank, and, and uh, Kelso just sits there, and he lights a cigarette. And he's like, so, who's got the keys to this fucking truck? I have them on my middle ring finger as I lift it off the shotgun. He goes, what's your name again? Uh, Victor Von Focht. All right, Mr. Fock, raise your right hand. I still have him up with the keys hanging from the middle finger. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear to execute all duties assigned to you by the Magistrate of Mundanus, so help you God Emperor? Yeah, in the name of their God Kaiser. All right, uh, you're the new watch sergeant. This is your squad. Uh, you're going to have to fill out an act after action report, said what happened here. <laughs> he goes... He goes, we, we got we got two rules here. <coughs> Don't make the captain angry and just do your calls as best you can. I I can't believe that you just killed a whole bunch of people fresh off the boat, but we got kind of a betting pool on new guys and well, you're not dead yet, so a lot of people lost some money. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, and I I'm like yeah, I was supposed to get requisition two guns when I signed up for this thing. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead and talk with um, Mr. Colm in the armory. I'm sure he'll listen to anything you have to say. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll talk to the Colm guy, and I'll, I'll get that taken care of. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm yep. just, like, wiping my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Doing, you're like, <laughs> just, just out Almost of like, it. I need another gun. I, I, need, I need another gun. <laughs> he goes, well... I, I don't know how to say it, fellas, but you wiped out about a quarter of a gang here on your first day. Well, when you come from a harsh planet like we have, you <laughs> learn a few things about how to work as a team and effectively strike and deal with... What's the opposite of law and order? Uh, that would be crime. <laughs> he goes, oh, by the way, rich guy, uh, there was a letter that arrived for you, had a big fancy seal on it. I put it on your bed. Thank you. Oh. We fucking slayed that, though. Holy yes, shit. yes, you did. I thought that would be a longer gunfight, but no, you guys used actual uh, attack. You fucking beat the stormtroopers. Yeah. And hats off to uh, Laws for building this, man. Yeah, he did. It's, it's, I used the American skill called subcontracting. <laughs> I, I I I had honestly thought that gunfight was gonna be like ten times the gunfight it was, and it was just like ha ha. <laughs> I was you like, <laughs> who you put him up against? Yeah. The guys going like this with someone else's gun. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, someone stole a gun. I don't know what happened. That's that's fucking great. Yeah, it's it's uh, 
you know, you, you try to you try to write a story in this game, and you figure it's going to be like L.A. Noir, but a little bit of uh, Police Squad, you know. And it's it's turned out to be more Police Academy, but I'm I'm fine with it. This is I did get called, I did get it told it was more like Police Academy. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Uh, as long as everyone has fun, I don't care. Because with with 40k it tends to be i am the greatest of the sword masters and blah 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 and ancient terror and all these other things and it gets so heavy and it's like no this is fun this this is where this is where unlikely heroes are born so yeah oof i i cannot believe how stupid that was but that that was great well that's the end of this episode and we're brought to you by you and nobody else so if you want to help support more of this madness, the Patreon is BPL Techs on Patreon. Thanks for listening.